What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of It Came From Beyond the Video Store Shelves. Um, in tonight's episode, we watched a teen sex comedy from 1984 called Up the Creek. As you can see here, my particular copy of Up the Creek is pretty fucked up. I mean, this is in rough shape. Um, it has definitely seen better days. This is a Vestron release. Um, this is one of those uh, flicks that I ran across at a thrift store. Um, I would typically not purchase movies that's that's this rough um, as far as box work and stuff does. But the tape's in really good shape itself. And like I said, this is a, a thrift store find, so you're looking at like 25 cents. And for that price, you really can't pass up a, a decent looking movie. And it's getting a lot harder, um, at least in my area, to find uh, the 70s and 80s sex comedies. Uh, especially when you're out thrifting. I, I have way better luck finding horror movies. I know for a fact um, my local Goodwills throw these away. They won't put anything on the shelf that has any type of somewhat suggestive cover. And it's kind of hard to see because this cover is so beaten up. But as you see, the, the, the raft here has large titties on the front of the raft. And they have, you know, she's in her bathing suit on the cover. This would not fly. At the Goodwills in my area, this tape would, would go in the dumpster. They wouldn't even put this on the retail. Every once in a while, you know, one will get by them. But for the most part, anything with graphic covers, um, whether it be gory horror stuff or kind of risky sex comedy covers, they'll trash. They won't put that up. So anytime I run across something like that in the wild for cheap, I always grab it, even if it's a little beat up. Anyway, getting into... Up the creek. So basically, what this movie was about is you have a couple of college losers, you know, all led by the main guy Bob, who's played by you know Tim Matheson, and he played he's in a bunch of shit. But Bob is like the '80s version of like a Van Wilder, where he's just kind of like a career college student. He's been in college forever. He's a fuck up. He just kind of stuck. And he has a couple friends who are all the worst performing students at this particular college, which happens to be the worst uh, college in the nation. They're last in everything. And the dean's not too happy about this. So the dean rounds these guys up. And he tells them that, you know, pretty much he's tired of being the shit college and he wants to win something. And they have this this race coming up and he wants to win that race to kind of have a little glimmer of light um, in this particular college. So he promises these boys that if you win this race, I'll give you all degrees in whatever the fuck you want a degree in. I'll just hand it to you. You don't have to pass classes or none of that bullshit. And of course, you know, they all pretty much agree with that. Um, also, um, to mention one of the guys that's in kind of this group of misfits is Gonzer, who's um, played by uh, Stephen Frost, who was, of course, in... All kind of fucking movies. He was in Animal House. He was in Sorority Girls. He was in a bunch of shit. He plays the fat guy who's always eating every fucking thing. Which is pretty much the same character uh, that first plays in fucking like all of his movies. But he does such a great job at it. So anyway, these guys haul ass. They're going to go join this fucking raft competition. And it doesn't take them very long to make new friends, you know. And it's kind of like uh, almost the college group mentality 
when they get to this race. And they, of course, they have a run in with the jocks who are the dicks of this movie, at least one group of dicks. And they also run into a group of preppy girls who are going to race. And Bob kind of takes a shine to one of these uh, preppy girls. And, you know, she is pissed off at the jocks because she was dating one of the guys on this jock team. And when she pulls up to this event where everybody's, you know, getting ready, she finds out that her boyfriend is gallivanting with topless women in his RV. So he's basically cheating on her behind her back. And that pisses her off. And Bob kind of steps in and tries to take up for her. Uh, because he's interested in this woman. So that pisses the jocks off. So now the jocks want to kill these guys. They're back and forth throughout the whole movie. And you know Bob and Heather is constantly hooking up left and right. And then you have on top of that. There's these groups of military students. You know from an army college. Who... They're trying to sabotage some shit. And Bob kind of gets in their way and they get caught and disqualified from the race. And this is the group that's won the race the previous three years. So they're pissed off that they got disqualified. So now they're kind of out on the water trying to sabotage Bob. And then, you know, you have these jocks that's trying to sabotage Bob. And they're working with one of the promoters for the race who was alumni from whatever, you know, generic college they went to. And he's supplying these guys with all kind of booby traps and shit. And and they're blowing fucking rafts up and doing all kind of shady crap to try to win this race as well. And, you know, of course, we all know how it's going to end with you know, movies like this. Of course, Bob and and the gang of, you know, losers and misfits triumph in the the end, you know, and they end up winning and everything's all great and he gets the girl and all that kind of crap. But yeah, um, I watch a bunch of these movies. I enjoy these kind of oddball, just potty humor comedies of, of the 80s. These what they they call sex comedies, all all this kind of just stupid shit and dick and fart jokes and all that kind of stuff. Most of them kind of fall a little short, but Up the Creek was surprisingly pretty good. You know, the story was decent. Um, The acting was done well. There's a bunch of, I wouldn't say um, high-profile actors, in this, but it's guys that's been around, you know, Tim Matheson, he's fucking been around and all kind of shit, he's a good actor, the only thing that's kind of weird in the movie is he looks old as fuck, and he's supposed to be playing a, a, you know, a college student, looks like he's he's in his fucking 30s, you know, Um, again, Stefan First was in a bunch of shit, he was in, you know, like I said, National Lampoons and stuff. He did a bunch of those movies. Um, Yeah, they had a lot of really solid, you know, B-cast actors in this. And it really shows the movie's film well. The acting's good. It's fun. You know, all the little gags they pull, you know, along the way of this race and shit. It, it it kept you interested, you know. There, there's a couple boobs in here, which is always a good thing with these kind of movies. And it was done well, and I was kind of surprised um, that it turned out so good. So I think I'm going to give this a five. I'm going to go ahead and put this middle of the road for um, these kind of movies. You know, not it's definitely not the best one, I mean, it's not up there with Porky's and, and that kind of stuff, but it's really solid, man. And if you enjoy these kind of flicks, definitely seek out a copy of Up the Creek and check it out. Um, of course, I have the VHS, a very beaten to shit VHS. Um, 
I'm not sure what these go for on tape. If I had to guess, I would say around 10 bucks, probably 10 or 15 bucks. But um, I don't know, man, because as it becomes harder and harder to find these kind of sex comedies on tape, the prices are kind of going up on, on the VHS tapes for, for these types of movies. Um, when before, it would really only be horror movies that you would expect to pay a little bit for. Most of the other shit w was, you know, all budget crap. But now we're seeing some comedy movies kind of rise in price and shit as, uh, you know, collecting becomes more popular and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm sure this is streaming somewhere. I haven't looked it up, but most of these 80s movies you could find streaming on you know, Tubi or YouTube or some of that shit. Um, I do believe there's a Blu-ray release of this. I want to say it's Vinegar Syndrome that put it out. I could be mistaken. But yeah, it's worth tracking down if you've never seen it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. You know, sometimes I'm in the mood for something lighter that you could just kind of turn your brain off and, and just laugh at a couple fart jokes. It's nice, you know. So I enjoyed it, man. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if you've seen Up the Creek before. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. And yeah, man, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, you guys take it easy.